Hey, what is up guys? This is Benoit and in this series of building the smart mirror, we're going to set up and design the application. So we'll be using Ionic in this for this application instead of React Native because in the future I want to use speech recognition which is easily integrated into Ionic since it uses WebKit. But in React Native, I tried to do that and it was a big hassle to set it up and it only supports Android at the moment. So I think using Ionic, we can actually use your old iPads if you have or maybe, I'm not sure, but I think Ionic supports Microsoft platform as well. And you can use that as well. The tablet I'm going to be using is going to be a Nexus 7 and it's going to be easy to set it up with Ionic and get it done faster compared to React Native. So to set up Ionic, oh, we have we want to go to Ionic Frameworks website and go to the Getting Started Guide, which will follow along. So if you want to go ionicframework.com slash getting started, and you will find the link. So the first instruction provided is to install Ionic and Cordova using NPM. So we open our terminal and do NPM install G Ionic Cordova and we also want to install iOS sim which is a requirement for running the simulator and if you're not using NVM you probably will have to sudo so you can do that as sudo and type in your password once it's ready so once this is done I will see you the next thing you want to do is navigate to a place where you want to put it so in my case i'm going to put it in my folder so i'm going to navigate that so here you want to type in ionic star and the name of application so i'm going to call it smart mirror and it will scaffold the application set it up and we can go into the application and start doing it. So next thing you want to do is go into the folder smart mirror and if you look at the contents you have a package JSON, a bobber and uh, doesn't seem like it installs an npm by default so you want to run npm install and you also run bobber so you can do an and bobber install seems like that is completed so the next thing you want to do after installing all your dependencies you want to open that in your text editor uh, just to see what files we're working with so I'm open using Atom in this case I will just type in Atom dot to open that directory and so here you can see you have the hooks folder node modules platforms plugins the SAS files the dub 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 which is where all your code will be you have the Bobber RC, which tells uh, configurations for Bobber. You have the editor config, which is configurations for your editor. You have a git ignore. And one thing I want, want to do is in our git ignore, I want to add the Bobber dependencies also. So you want to type in dub 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 slash lib because this is where Bobber installs them. So you want to make sure you don't want to check in those in your git. The next thing we want to do is I want to, I'm going to go onto my GitHub and create a new repository. So I'm going to click on new repository, call it Smart Mirror. I'm going to make it public so I, I can have a link for it and people can follow along the code. And to add the GitHub repository, all you're going to do is git init, git remove add origin the link of the repository and you can see git status to make sure you're not checking in any important files or any non-needed files and it seems like it looks right so all you want to do is git add dot which will add everything and you want to do a commit as initial commit and once that is done you can do git push hyphen u which sets the upstream origin master and once that is done 
the next thing you want to do is check out the application simulator on what it looks like right now to do that it's real simple all you have to do is type in ionic emulate and you can type the name of the platform in our case we'll use the ios simulator because it's easier and faster to run on, on a platform instead of android so i will type in ionic emulate ios and once you hit enter it starts building in a compile and it could it will start the application in the simulator and since it's finished you can just open the sim simulator see how the application looks right now we have the three tabs you have some default application by ionic you have some chats and some settings so this is what the application looks right now in the next section we will remove all this placeholder code to start a code of a, that came with the application start with a blank slate and start coding the application thank you for watching like if you like the video and subscribe to stay tuned to more code lock series and i will catch you in the next one